Hi, this is Liz with Egghead Fixers. Today we're going to discuss how to replace a hard drive and install Windows 10 on your ASUS. First, we're going to start with the how to replace or upgrade a hard drive portion. If you're looking for just the how to install Windows 10 portion, skip to minute 3 and 50 seconds in this video. So first, flip over your ASUS. As you can see, this one has an easy access panel to your hard drive. Uh, some other ASUS, you may have to remove all the screws on the bottom. Insert your pry tool in between the palm rest and the bottom, and bottom case and take the palm rest off. But with this one we have an easy access panel, so we're going to first remove the battery, like so. Then I'm going to remove the two screws from that easy access panel. And it slides off just like that. So once you get inside to where your hard drive is located, you're going to see, I'll get zoom in on there. You're going to take all the screws off that are holding down what is called your hard drive caddy, which is that metal casing that your hard drive is in. And once you do that, you get all those screws out, you slide it away from the port taking it out. Now you're going to remove that hard drive from the caddy, which is usually held in by four screws. And it's always good to kind of keep an eye on how the hard drive is installed in the caddy because it's easy to get turned around once you get it out. Alright, now once I have all four screws out, then the hard drive should easily come out of the caddy. Now, this is the kind of hard drive, if it's the same kind yours has, it has what's called a SATA connection, that's that port right there. And this is a 2.5, which is a pretty average size for a hard drive if you're looking to replace it. If you were getting a, changing it to a solid state drive, it would still need to be a SATA connection, and it would still need to be that 2.5 size. Every now and again they come in a 1.8, if you're wondering if it's 1.8, it would be a little bit skinnier than this. Uh, it wouldn't be quite as wide. And then you, once you get that hard drive in there, you go ahead and you put all the screws back in like I'm doing right now. Now you put it back in, line up the port and it should just gently slide in. Don't force it. It should just go in easy. And then you go ahead and you replace your screws. And that's where your RAM goes in case you're wondering. That's my extra RAM port. If you're looking to upgrade. Alright, now I'm going to put my panel back on. It just slides on real easy. And if you have any questions about upgrades or anything like that, go ahead and leave them down below. And as, you, as a side note, if you find this any way helpful, please like and share. Okay, so as you can see, I put my two screws in, I'm going to put my battery back in, and now we're going to move on to the section on how to install Windows 10. Now I'm going to use my bootable USB that I've made. I have a video down below that will show you how to do this for free so you don't need to purchase a Windows 10 bootable USB to install Windows 10. I insert my USB in to my ASUS. I hit power and tap F2 to enter the BIOS settings because sometimes your ASUS will automatically boot off the USB but oftentimes you need to use what is called a boot override which is in your BIOS settings and voila we're there. So, once I'm in my BIOS settings, I use my right arrow key to move tabs from Main, Advanced, Boot, Security to Save and Exit. Also, this is your Boot tab. This might come in handy. It's just good for you to know what it looks like. So now I'm going to use my down arrow key and I'm going to select my bootable USB and I'm going to hit Enter. And then it's going to start, you know, booting up and then you're going to get to this purple screen which is the beginning of the install. At this point, you're going to take your mouse and you're going to hit the next button. You're going to hit install now. 
You see a lot of stuff like this. Setup is starting. You'll have to wait. It's okay. Then you get I accept the license and terms. You're gonna hit next. Then hit custom. Then go ahead and delete all these partitions. Select one. Hit delete. Sometimes there's a lot. Don't worry. Go ahead and just delete them all. And then when it says unallocated space, like so. And you can hit next and it will start to install. As a shout out, if you run into any snags, your installation for any way reason doesn't work, we have a video on how to troubleshoot installation problems. Okay, so I fast forwarded to the end screen. Go ahead and hit restart now. You're going to get a bunch of these starting services, getting device ready, stuff like that. But once again, that video link for if you have any problems with it not completing, not working properly, that's in the description down below. Okay, so this means my installation is done after all that waiting time. You're going to hit yes. And then you're going to select your keyboard. I'm going to skip because I don't need a second keyboard. So now we're just going through different options. This is where you connect to a network. I'm not going to bother, but if you wanted to, you would go ahead, select your network, hit connect, then type in your password. I'm going to write I don't have internet. That way I'm not stuck putting attaching my Microsoft account. This is a behind the scenes way of doing it, behind back door way I mean. Hit continue with limited setup. And then boom, I don't need to attach a Microsoft email account. Then I can just name my PC whatever I want like a normal person and hit next. I type in Dell next. I'm not going to do a password because I'm going to sell this computer. Uh, do more. I'm just going to hit no. I am going to get help from the digital. I'm going to hit accept digital assistant. And then accept once again because I'm okay with all these privacy settings. And then I am done. So there's going to be some lag time in between some of these things, but you're okay. Anyway, that's how you install Solid State Drive and Windows 10. Thanks for watching our video. If you found it in any way helpful, please like and share. If you like do-it-yourself computer repair videos, then go ahead and subscribe. If you have any questions at all or you think of a great video to like to see from us, go ahead and leave your comments and messages down below and one of our certified technicians will get back to you. But anyway, from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.